Hello, here we are with an unboxing hands-on with the cat phone, the B15 smartphone to be precise. And uh, Caterpillar or cat is a name that is synonymous with sort of heavy industry, sort of builders and tradespeople, and this is designed to appeal to those uh, out there. It is a rugged handset, very similar to the likes of the JCB Pro Smart and similar devices. So let's unbox it and see what you get. So here is the handset itself, which we'll come back to in a moment. We've got a little bit of documentation here, which explains how to remove uh, the back cover and if we pull out the internal packaging we'll get into uh, some of the other box contents and first of all you're presented with the manual and quite frankly this is one of the coolest looking manuals we've ever seen designed to look like the device itself it's also quite comprehensive in a variety of uh, different languages as well to sort of just get you up and going and get the basics um, for you there but it's pretty cool it looks like the phone itself just makes it a bit more sort of fun in the box you get a three pin uk mains adapter like so with a usb port on the top so into that usb port you will connect this the provided usb cable so it's a full usb on one end and a micro usb connection on the other so uh, that can charge the phone and also allow you to connect it to a computer one thing to note with a lot of these rugged phones, the micro USB connection is ever so slightly longer on this device, so a lot of the standard charging uh, cables or micro USB cables don't work, so you do need to use the one from the box because it's long enough to actually fit into the phone. So then we've got a set of sort of fairly basic in-ear 3.5mm headphones with inline uh, microphone. Yeah, they look really sort of a bit cheap and nasty um, so you might want to use your own headsets there is a clip there as well for connecting on to um, clothing we've then got the battery which um, is quite big it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery with uh, 7.4 watts so this will keep the device going for quite some time and then you've also got one set of replacement covers for the ports on the phone as well and that's all you get in the box so very similar to other devices and here is the handset itself which uh, we're going to run through and we've got a screen protector on here let's just see if I can pull that off that's quite well fitted so as the screen protector suggested this is IP67 rated so make no qualms about it this isn't necessarily the prettiest or slimmest of handsets it's designed to uh, be rugged and live up to um, the lifestyle in which the owner might lead so it's on a building site it's going to take a few knocks and it looks kind of manly I don't want to be sexist but it's kind of what it's about you know you get a lot of tradesmen that are men and it, it just got that sort of more robust look um, to it. It's not as chunky as the likes of the JCB um, Pro Smart, which is a benefit to it. It just looks a bit more premium actually, although the materials aren't uh, much different. It, it does have an air of quality about it over the competition. So starting actually on the front here, what we have is the uh, touch screen and that has a it's a four inch touch screen uh, and it's got Corning Gorilla Glass so it's pretty tough so you can sort of throw things at it, scratch it and it should live up to um, most things. It will inevitably get scratched at some point and it's also got wet finger tracking so if you're a plumber or something you get wet or you're out in the rain the device screen should still work. Now we've got a back home and menu button um, built in here to the front of the case. We've got the cat logo. And just up here, I don't know how well you can see it, there is a front-facing camera. It's VGA, so it's not the highest of quality, but it's enough for video recording. On the base of the device, we haven't really got anything. We've just got this sort of chunky plastic design. I think we've got a little microphone just hidden below there. On the side, we've got this kind of rugged design with these sort of uh, rivets, and we've got this silver piece here. We've then got uh, the covers over the ports here, so we just pull that back. We've got access to the micro USB um, port there, so 
you have to uh, keep the covers closed to keep the IP rating. Coming around to the top, we're still sort of keeping this sort of angular, harsh design, but then we've got a headphone jack. Now, got to pull the cover off that. Let's just see if we can do that. You need a bit of nails uh, to actually pull these covers off. There we go, wrong way. And then you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack just there. Quite nice that you've actually got this sort of little piece that goes into the headphone jack itself to keep even more protected. That actually fits quite nicely and looks quite smart. You've then got a yellow power button which stands out. Coming around to the other side, you've then got the uh, volume keys here as well. We've got the up and down. It's not a traditional rocker, it's a more familiar up and down key. And then we've got this design carrying on. On the back, we've got the five megapixel camera up the top here. So, um, you know, it's not the best camera at five megapixels, but it's going to be more than enough for taking images on a site. You've got the loudspeaker, you've got this sort of cat logo etched in here, which is quite nice, the sort of silver finish to match the sides. You've got this really sort of rugged uh, design, so that will collate a bit of dust and dirt, but it also makes it a little bit more grippy. You can't really just run your fingers off the back here. And then what you've got is this lock mechanism, which you do like so, and you can unlock the back cover and when you unlock it you get access to uh, the battery compartment where you'll insert um, the battery itself and uh, you've got a micro SD card slot down here you just see that so you can put up to a 32 gigabyte card in there and you put your sim card just under here. Now uh, you may have seen videos or images or specs of this device that say it's a dual SIM. There are two variants but in the UK currently it's uh, just the single SIM a cat b15 that's uh, what's uh, most demanded so you can only put one SIM card in this device when you buy it from clove.co.uk. Now you can pop the battery in and the back cover on like so. Now if you put a memory card in of course there's that option for you in the SIM card but we're not going to do that just at this time and we can fit the cover back on it. Got to be quite firm and get that in and then lock that back in place. Now if you don't see the yellow bit that means it's all locked in place and you've got the uh, IP rating sort of covered on this phone. So let's actually power it on. So it'll boot up there. So if I just run through some of the other sort of specification, it weighs in at 170 grams, so it's not the lightest of phones. It's got Google um, services all on board, so it's Android, so you're going to have your Chrome web browser, YouTube, navigation, Google Calendar, um, which is all very important. It's IP67 rated, so um, it, you know dust and water um, will be resisted by this device and you can put it into one meters depth of water for up to 30 minutes and it should still work. It'll probably last longer than that, but that's what it's uh, certified to. Just do bear in mind, you need to have the covers closed to be able to do that. So you've got Wi-Fi, you've got 3G for web browsing on here. You've got four gig of internal storage. So um, that's without the OS. So there is a bit of memory on board for some of your apps. If you're into gaming and things, this isn't going to be the device for you because that's soon up the memory. But you do have the memory card for things like photos and music, which may take up even more memory um, on here. It's a one gigahertz dual core processor and it's running Android 4.1. So all in all, it's actually quite a high spec um, handset for a device of this type. So often we actually see pretty poor specs on these uh, devices that are designed for workmen. Now you could of course invest in a high-end smartphone and put it in a case, um, but you know that kind of defeats the object. This is designed to just work out of the box in sort of the harsher conditions. So we're just running up, uh, you know, through the boot procedure with this. So we're back in a moment once that's completed. Okay, so we've now booted the Cat B15. It's quite a uh, seamless setup process. Process. It's all explained for you, and uh, we're into the home screen. So. First of all, we're going to drop down from the top menu here, and you can see that we get some notifications. This is your notification bar. You've got quick access to a lot of the controls, so um, the sort of speakers, whether it's uh, you've got your GPS on, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, 
airplane mode for actually uh, disabling all connectivity and we can tap right in here to go right into the settings and the first thing I'm going to start with is the display and the brightness now it's on automatic brightness at the moment and it seems a little bit dim so I'm going to turn that off um, for you and put it up to full brightness which is much better now it might just be the light that we're in um, obviously full brightness will have an effect on the um, battery but it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery so it should last you most of the day so whilst we're in the settings let's start down the bottom and just show you about the phone so cat B15, Android version 4.1.2. There is the option for system updates. I'll just check if there's any available. So we're all up to date at the moment. I think what you will find with this phone is there will be updates rolled out. It won't be as quick as other devices. Um, but to be fair, the version on here should be good enough for you. It's one of the later versions. It's not out of date before we've even started like some devices of the past. So you're pretty much set to go. You've uh, got this quite nice feature that you can schedule when your device comes on and off and uh, if you're a tradesman that could be um, quite handy so you might want this to stop at 5.30 or whatever time when you've finished a working day or switch on at 8 o'clock. That's quite clever of course it's only going to work if you've got sufficient battery power in the device but that's a nice little uh, feature that's been added on there. You can add all of your accounts on here so it's designed to sync up with your Google account which is free. You can have your email and everything there but you can also add other services such as your own personal email from other different providers or even a corporate account if you have one. So whilst this is perhaps engineered to be um, aimed at sort of the builders and tradesmen it's not limited by any means it's just cat kind of s synonymous with that um, sort of industry if you're a salesperson or something like that this could be as good uh, for you if maybe you're a part ranger or something like that it all has um, a, a place for you so you've got your backup and reset you've got controls over the language the keyboards that you have on now you'll be able to see a full list of languages in another video You've got GPS on board, you can control your apps, you've got information on your battery. So let's take a look at storage. So um, what you've actually got available on here, the memory is split into two parts. So there's 897 meg available there, and then you've got 1.58 gig available there. So you've almost got two gig available for installing apps on the actual phone and you've got the SD card option as well for expanding the memory even further. Uh, we quickly went into display a moment ago but we can go and change the scenes for uh, our home screen um, and you've got you know, default or work, you've got your wallpaper you can control be it one from your gallery from a live wallpaper, a video wallpaper um, even that can be playing in the background that would have an effect on your uh, battery power you know just or just a sort of standard one that comes out of the box we can control we can set that as our wallpaper we can decide whether the screen auto rotates in landscape or portrait mode we can also change the font size as well so if you're hard of sight you can make things a little bit bigger on screen for yourself You've got data usage, so this has got 3G on board the phone, so if you wanted to control how much data you're using or monitor it, it'll all be tracked here, but of course nothing's showing. For two reasons, we haven't got a SIM and we haven't uh, used any of the data as yet. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all fairly self-explanatory. So back at the home screen here, we can scroll through our screens like so and you can customize them by pressing and holding on the screen and that's where you can change uh, your wallpapers. Can we pinch and zoom? We don't seem to have that option on here like we do on some devices. If we click menu we can go into the system settings that we were just in. We can also then go into the wallpaper settings as well. If you want to add things to um, your home screen you've got a couple of options. So if you go back here and we click the main applications tray you can get into um, your apps that are pre-installed on the handset and if you want to add one to the home screen press and hold and drag it to the screen like so you can remove it by press and holding and dragging it up there Oop. you can drag it back to your home screen like that you may want to change the home screen it's on so just drag it across to the relevant screen we're at the end there as identified by this little blue bar 
So I can move it across and you should see the blue bar moving and I can chuck it where I like. So uh, we've got some interesting applications on here. So Bluetooth proximity. So if we turn our Bluetooth on, you can find other Bluetooth enabled devices uh, that are, are close to you. You've got your web browser. Now this is the standard sort of stock uh, one that comes on the device which allows you to do all the things you'd want to do but I strongly recommend you use Chrome for your web browsing so we can go into this and uh, it works like it does on your desktop PC let's just scroll through this for the first time and let's um, click in and add a URL so we're doing it in portrait mode here but I can go into landscape mode as well you get haptic feedback which is the vibration on screen when you tap the button and then you can go to your websites here so here we are on the clove website we can go through to the desktop site because it loaded into the mobile version um, for us now we can pinch and zoom on the screen like so we can scroll through we can double tap to zoom in so i can click on this blackberry product here it will take me through to the page we're loading over wi-fi at the moment so just loading up there we go so you can see the the text there might be a bit hard to read so I can pinch in like that or I can double tap on the screen slight little bit of lag there and it uh, re-renders the text for uh, better viewing on display you've got your settings by pressing the menu button and you can do things such as uh, requesting a desktop site so you don't get the mobile versions of websites back into the app here we have got some other useful things here so we've got a shortcut to uh, cat's own website so if you want to pick up uh, used equipment you've got that there if you like you've got a shortcut to cat.com sort of relatively useless to you unless you're constantly going to um, their website but I can completely see why they put it you've also got uh, a shortcut there to support section for their phones which is um, sort of useful it's just a web page could be better orientated but the fact is you can get there nonetheless so you've got your clock you've got your downloads you've got your email client for things that aren't um, gmail you've got your file manager so you can see what's actually on the um, phone and control the sort of folders and go in and view things through here and move files etc you got an FM radio so just plug in your headphones and you've got the radio you've got your gallery so this is where all your pictures and video will be stored when you've taken some so we've got none on the device at the moment you've got a lot of your Google services such as Google Plus Gmail local you've got your maps your messenger you've also got look, a part store here for um, cat people is where you go through to your contacts and this could be on your um, sim card or it will sync with your google accounts you've got loads of different settings where you can import etc so lots of options with the cat b15 here in terms of adding contacts you've got your phone dialer which is fairly straightforward so you've got no physical phone buttons actually on the device all on screen so you type in a number and dial it using the on-screen options here you've got play store where you can download um, your apps you've got shortcut to the settings you've got a sound recorder so you might need to uh, record something you can do that through the sound recorder you've got a checklist on here which is quite nice as I'm sure uh, most people do they have a lot of tasks they need to get through in a day so you could perhaps put this on there and check those off as you go you've got YouTube and you've also got sections here for adding a wireless input device which would be paired via Bluetooth but just see how they've made it nice to actually manage you've got your uh, messaging fairly straightforward um, so in here we've got no conversations we can start a new one up we can type a message out here in portrait and landscape mode we can come back out of that we can press the menu to add a subject insert quick text insert smiley insert contact you kind of get the idea and then you can obviously send it you've got the paper click here to add attachments so whether it be capture a picture capture video audio you've got quite a lot of options available to you 
Let's uh, take a look at the camera. So as we mentioned, we've got a five megapixel camera on the back here. Now, in terms of actual camera settings and options, you don't have as many as you may get on a lot of other devices, but this big blue icon here is your uh, camera shutter button. So if you press that, that's what will take the picture. You can see it's taken with the sound and a nice transition effect. You've got a zoom control right here. You've got a settings button here which will take you through to some of the options. So you've got the ability for HDR, you control the white balance, you've got some color effects, you can set the scene so if you want the camera to um, change the settings a little bit. Then you've got more camera settings including the storage location so you could set uh, the memory card there. You've got uh, the capture number so you uh, even control the number of pictures it takes in the burst mode. Oop, let me just go back there. Self timer, you've got sharpness, saturation. So there's actually quite a few settings there, surprising me a little bit um, considering sort of the very basic design uh, of the uh, camera. But you can change then the resolution of pictures. There you go, quite a bit there. Can drop back down. We can flick between the rear and front facing camera with this little icon up here. There we go. It's telling you how many uh, pictures we can actually store on the phone at the resolution. Can click in here to change the mode. So we're on camera at the moment, but I can change to video recording here. And now we've got sort of a red record icon. We can then go into the settings again for this and we get some slightly different uh, controls so different effects so if you want to play around and uh, that you can you've got these effects here we've got the timer we've got the video quality so it doesn't really tell us what resolution that's at high medium um, which is a little frustrating It'd be nice to actually be able to change uh, that based on a particular resolution, but those settings are there nonetheless. And you've got you know quite a lot of options, including the video uh, duration, so how much video you can actually record in one take, uh, which is quite nice. If you accidentally left it on, it might stop at 10 minutes if you've set that. So quite a nice lot of controls there and things to get you going. So that's a look at the Cat B15. Uh, be sure to check out our website, clove.co.uk, to pick up yours.